So let's try that actually right now. So just back, think early direction. Yeah, just from the get-go, right? So from the first step you take, whether it be left or right foot first, it's everything linear to me. Because I'm already pretty rotational as we've talked about. I think about. that might be, oh, that's what I was gonna say in the text, was you're putting so much emphasis on rotation yeah. and like amplifying your amount of torque you're creating that you're like, you're doing it, to, you're doing it really good. I sent you the screenshot of your separation, Yeah. but you're thinking about it late too, yeah. which is pulling your trunk to more, trying to get more acceleration, Yeah. right? Instead of like, no, create it up until you anchor, right. but then when you release it, it's not like I gotta generate more rotation. No, it's like now I go to you. Right. I know that's so easy to put into words. It's hard to do. But it's a good visual. So are these shorts. Okay, here we go. So it's yeah. almost like I need to have a... So now we can have the conversation about how pitch logic is a good indication of when you're like linear because now you're 91% efficiency and you're 19 and four, vertical and horizontal. That felt pretty uh, normal too. And for some reason, your spin went up. A little bit pull, got down to 77%. Okay. So that's like, I mean, <clears throat> good tool to see like, all right, dude, like what am I trying to work on? That's a good indication of it, you know? Well, here comes 94. Hey, what, what was the thought on the first throw? <clears throat> just kind of like feel this thing out. I don't know what I'm gonna feel. Yeah. All right, well then just have that clear thought. Like, I don't know what I'm gonna feel, and but the I'm The second gonna... one, I was like, oh, okay, so now. Yeah, now you tried to put it into a physical action. Yeah. Yeah, just do. Yeah. Eighty-four percent. Okay. That should be a good one, yeah. Yeah. So eighty-six, eighteen, and eight. I can cut. It's it's interesting because like I can see it. Like I can when feel it's it. like it looks like when those elevated arm side ones, yeah. it looks like it's coming off a little bit like outside of yeah. your hand. Yeah. You know. I can feel it. And it's almost like a. Yeah. Versus that, it's like. Yeah. It'd be interesting if you did like a catcher one. Want me to do one? Yeah, absolutely. Straight up catcher throw? Yeah, I wonder if it'll read it. Oh yeah. Okay, so you started to pull early. I did. But it's still like 89%. Okay. So the pulling of the early is like your body's reaction to thinking that it has to generate rotation, yeah. right? So like almost think do less, Yeah. maybe. Like that's a kind of a cue that I, I like to work with too, is in like more with the lower half, less with the upper half. Yeah, so that's where I was, uh, I felt like I was doing it good out there. Yeah. And then here, I'm like, oh, I'm here now. I just gotta generate You know more. when you do it really good is when you, like when I say more air, yeah. that's when you do it really well. And I really just go. Because like when you're thinking of loft, it's almost thinking less arm. Yeah. So when you think less arm, I think your trunk and your glove side almost stay neutral for a longer time. Yeah. And then your legs do the heavy lifting, and then it's like, oh, your hands saying, hey, dude, we're ready to launch. Wee! You know, and then it's like, boom. Here, I'll go a little, little glove side for you. Ah. Yeah. 89. Cut. First time I've seen you get 20 inches of vert. I think I can even, like, go later, I guess, like, because I felt like I still then pulled off a little early. Yeah. It's so. a, it's a call, it's a action reaction. So your action is you thinking this, yeah. but your reaction to that is, is super aggressive <clears throat> rotation. Yeah. So it's like, you got to find the balance, right? Yeah. It's the same thing with me when I like think counter rotation or like uh, cross with my lead leg. Cause then I, my reaction yeah. is spinning off more. So it's finding the happy medium. All right, last catcher one. I'm going to shoot for 90 above. That one I did super less. 89. Still good. It looked good. Now, can we do the other experiment? Yeah, stay at like 60%. Yeah. But I just want you to like leg lift and think like, I'm gonna just flick that. I just wanna see your two arrows, right. if they match up a little bit better. With a, like the step behind into it? You can do whichever one. I just wanted to see like, you know, cause you know how your, your blue arrow is uh, your spin tilt? Yeah. So it's, it's always way higher towards my. the 12 than it is your arm slot. Okay. So if you just matched your tilt with your arm slot, 
So See just, what happens. Yeah, just stay here. Don't go here. Just get here. Yeah, I, honestly, I wouldn't think anything about your trunk. It's a little bit harder to like right. kind of consciously maneuver through space. Just think, drop in your slot. Yeah. Because your trunk's automatically going to go. Okay. That was okay, the that same was arm weird. slot. What? That was the same arm slot. No. Yes, it was. I felt like I was Sergio Romo. You weren't. Do like a uh, second base, getting the ball from shortstop. Just boom. And I don't care if you just loft it. So like, for example, that was me, right? Uh, my arm slot was at like 205 and my tilt was at two, right? Yeah. So like match, They're matched. more efficient, more carry. Okay. So just do that at like 50 miles an hour. Oh, okay. That was the same arm slot. We gotta no, figure- Dude, I'm telling you, I'm throwing it from the shoe tops. <laughs> All right, now, one last thing. If you can't control your hand, throwing hand through space, this wind is like making me so parched. Control your glove arm. Take your glove side, exaggerate it this way, so your body does the thing that I was doing, yeah. and you hated it. Just go boom, into that. Yeah. I don't care if you lost it. Throw it over here. Take your glove side that way. Same arm slot. No. All right. That felt like I was throwing. I'm, no, like, I'm just reading off yeah. of uh, where your yellow arrow is. Yeah. What's the goal? Um, drop slot. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I'm throwing like that one guy from uh, Dr. Heenan's facility. Oh. Yeah. I uh, accidentally glove tapped. But the the problem with that like you dropping your slot is it almost amplifies your issue with your trunk. Right. I would say just maybe think more over the top or just stay the same and just work like bridging that gap. Right. But so your slowly, catcher slowly have been. Yeah, you have. Your your catcher throw is still pretty like your catcher and your walk in linear is Yeah. And I would just say blend that linear walk in to just like a leg lift. All right, one more cuz with what? This, but focus on linear. Yeah, just, just do uh, do that walk-in. Oh, yeah. Two-seam? Yeah. Drop down? Yeah. Cool. I knew that was going to happen. Two-seam grip, 88%. <laughs> it's a two-seam, four-seam. Right. 14 and 11. Right on. And that's sometimes the equation. Like, now... I would just say, hey, play around with some, some four seam grips. Go wide fingers, go thumb under, thumb tuck, ring finger to the side, ring finger under, freaking throw it with your index finger. Okay. Maybe it's a, who knows, maybe it's your fingers, the way they're coming through the zone that your trunk then has to pull. Yeah. Could be, not saying it is. Yeah, but you're also not going linear. You're actually over rotating. Yeah. So if you don't take a step with your left first and you only take one like with your right, you're having to generate more rotation. So if you went like one, two, boom, that way, now you're like amplifying the initial momentum direction. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. All right. And take, take however many steps you, like, you need. Yeah. Holy smokes, two seam? Yeah. Did you like that one or no? The movement, yeah. It didn't read on that because oh. you're moving too much. All right. Two seam? Yeah. Got this. And throw Chad's uh, slot. You won't. That was still that, but it was No, you did better. it again. You just took one step with your right. Well, I know, so I could read. Oh, no, it'll, it'll pick up eventually. Oh. It'll pick up eventually. Oh, okay. I'm saying like, all right, so right, left, yeah. right. Whew. I just killed it. I got you. So it could read. Um, but that <laughs> one was 81%. 12 and 10. Okay. And it kind of spun like a four seamer. That one I was a little bit more over the top though. So, all right, perfect example. And we'll make sure to do one of these with it. More linear, more steps forward, 92%, 18 and six. Nice. And I just naturally kind of went, Roop. well, it's a direction. Yeah. You know, I think that's the, that's the thing is like, it's not bad that you're thinking create like a ton of rotational energy, yeah. but what is the reaction to that action? Yeah. And it's kind of making you fly out and leave your hand 
vulnerable yeah. or arm. So then the question becomes, well, how do I gain and grasp that direction linear in my leg lift or that's always been my toughest part is I can do it outside of a leg lift. But once I go into a leg lift, I go right back to normal. Yeah. I think it's honestly more reps, uh -huh. more reps like that. Like see how many nineties you can hit, whether it be like a, a walk in like that, a catcher throw, uh, whatever. And then get into like a blending. Yeah, exactly. And but first you have one. to, you have to increase the sample size that works, right? Like right. have a window of opportunity here and you want to like continuously get that. So your body can just, okay, this is how we throw. Yeah. Catcher that step behind or the walk in. Those are all probably ones I need to hammer. Yeah. But I feel like there's one more that I'm forgetting. Uh, this is pretty good, but probably, I was going to say probably a hand cross. Yeah. Just for timing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that one I felt like, uh, you know my problem with uh, obviously the direction, but my leg bows out with it? Yeah. I felt like that one was a little bit more like... Yeah, I think when you become more linear with your direction, your hips do a much better job of clearing. Yeah. Right? Because I don't think I really have to overemphasize rotation. No, I your rotation so... is fine. Like, we know that. Nice. I think, I think the, the biggest question mark is direction. Yeah. Because, like, you're creating so much energy throughout your, like entire movements yeah but then it's like when you express that energy yeah it's not it's, coming all to me yeah you're missing out on you know say like all right 20 percent's going this way and 30s that you know yeah. whatever and so it's like you're generating good energy your movements are efficient but it's like how can we then take all of that to the desired target right which is harder way harder said than done i mean easier said than done what? <laughs> <laughs> this is out of nowhere. <laughs> what? Working on a great thing, just boom. <laughs> I want to try it with like the direction. Yeah. <sighs> oh, then I do that. All right, fast one. I'm, I'm freaking cooked. Yeah. <clears throat> 76. <laughs> that's funny. So that's, that's a great indication of what, what, what did it, what's the lowest hanging fruit, you know? Yeah. I mean, it explains your elbow. Yeah. It does. This thing is so exposed all the time. Yeah. Except for when I'm out there because it feels good. Yeah. I'm trying to think like, That's I would it. say do these next like couple where you just go a little bit crouch and just go boom and throw to me. 85. Yeah. 80. Do a pull down, but like light. Yeah, you go. but I, I think that's like what it is, is like when you're at a far distance, I think it's less for you about like generating energy and it's more just like, all right, I'm just going to get the ball there. I just like the feelings. Right. I can but then when better. you're close, then it's your body's way of saying like, oh, we need to generate all this rotation. Right. And it's kind of like but. forcing you to fly. Yeah. yeah I was going to go on a big monologue the other day with like, all right, identification of how does the thrower generate most of his energy and if it's like rotational energy or directional via you know drive leg or, or, or forward acceleration then it's like all right how do we complement that with where his arm slot is right and that's what i was saying with me is like it probably makes sense why i feel so effortless cheddar here yeah is because i'm i create a ton of rotational energy because my drive leg mechanics suck okay i'm with that that makes sense though. It's very similar to you are too. Yeah. Right? Like you get such good separation. And that's why I wanted the drop down just to see what it would look like. Yeah. All right, Castillo Harms. That might have been my best throw. Yeah, 71. <laughs> 71 horizontal. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, you definitely got under it because that thing went, phew. you got finally 11 uh, horizontal, more than your vertical, but your efficiency went to 60. <laughs> what up? That looks good, dude. Cue ball. 